Shall we play a game? Hello everyone, welcome back to Vintage Gaming Memories. Please be sure to hit the subscribe button to help support this channel. Remember, it doesn't cost you a thing other than the effort to move that mouse to the subscribe button and give it a click. As always, I appreciate all the support. Now for this video. Well, it looks like I really jumped into the joystick zone with the last couple of videos, which were on vintage joysticks. I have to blame it on my review of the Antic Magazine from December 1983 as part of the Flashback 40 with Antics and Analog series. With that said, I might as well complete the trifecta with another unique and vintage joystick. Inside this box here is the Kraft Maze Master joystick, circa 1980s. Since this model was spotlighted in the December 1983 Antic Magazine that I just mentioned, I'll consider it a 1983 model, unless anyone else knows otherwise. Quick history on Kraft Systems. It was founded by Philip Kraft in 1962, which focused on radio control transmitters for model planes. He was a big enthusiast of that. It wasn't until 1981 when they branched into the joystick arena, and then by the end of 1983, they had sold over $12 million worth of joysticks that covered the IBM, Commodore, and the Atari lines. Kraft was based in Vista, California from 1969 until its end in 1994. So enough of the history lesson. Let's open this up and see what we got. Well, here it is. It looks very plain, right? I mean, especially compared to the last two that I reviewed, which were the Joy Sensor by Suncom and that HS20 Tournament Master by Highscore. But don't let the looks deceive you. This might become one of my favorites based on what I was reading and how this was actually constructed. So this was built to endure heavy use, and it's considered a precision controller with the fast action internal switches, which we'll take a look at. And you can see that the stick here has a nice spring return to center. If I go left, right, it goes pretty nice to the center. It springs right back. It also has a very small shaft. That you shaft. Bet you how lovely stuff it is. In comparison to the other joysticks. But that would allow you for various types of grips for this joystick. You know, you could do a two-finger grip or a three-finger hold. You can even palm it, or you can even thumb it, which I think many do. Whatever works for you. And then the cord here, let me just cut this off. You can already tell this cord is quite long, longer than the standard joystick. It says it measures 8 feet. which I believe it does, definitely. That's about a four foot length I just put in half. So great length on this cord. But aside from the feel and durability, what I found great with this one from what I read was the ability to switch it from either a four to eight directional controller without having to open it up. A lot of these joysticks, you have to open it up and adjust it. But for this one here, it's very simple. Right in the bottom here. You have an option here for a four-way or an eight-way mode. And it's just a slide of a switch. So here is the inside of the controller. And you can see how the contacts are to the switches. All four, top, bottom, left, and right, if you look at the other way. So I'll hold this in place to show you. Yeah, so, and then you can see the squareness of the shaft coming down from the joystick. It will push two sides together on a diagonal, which will allow the eight directional to work. Now, you won't have that ability to go sideways if you turn this so it blocks it. So now it's in a diamond shape, which would allow it to only go four ways. If I were to slide it, to a eight way, which would be up. Now the shape is a square. And that will keep it maintained within a squared area, which would give you top, bottom, left, right, 
and also all the four corners. So that's how that works, which is pretty creative. Now, this is loose because obviously it's no pressure being pushed against it on the joystick. It's pretty dirty. I'm going to give it a nice clean wipe down on everything and we'll see how this reacts. I think it just, um, uh, it was tight, but I think I can still get this to work correctly. We'll see. So I finished cleaning up this joystick, putting it back together again. And besides it looking great, it is very light. It only weighs in at... Six ounces even. Very light. In comparison to your standard Atari joystick, 6.3 ounces. And that always felt light to me. A little bit lighter, but you have to take into consideration this is a four foot longer cord, as the Atari is only a four foot cord to begin with, and this is an eight foot cord. Being that it's very light, it's very different from the other joysticks I have. And also, again, with this back now that I've cleaned it up, let's see if it switches a lot easier now. Again, it's on the four-way. Let me change it to eight-way. It snaps right in. So it was kind of stiff. I had to take it apart and just kind of clean it up a little bit. I didn't oil it or anything crazy like that. Just cleaned it down. It moves nice and easy. Now, you do want it to snap into place because obviously you don't want to switch between four and eight while you're playing it. But, again... This is the eight way because it's now up and I should be able to go up, down, go to the top right, bottom right, bottom left, top left. So it feels very nice and stiff. Again, returning to center, so nice. Going back to a four way, you really don't have the sides because remember now, the four way, this thing is now shaped like a diamond. So you can feel the diamond shape. So that's why it's only a four-way. You see my motions making a diamond. Anyhow, joystick looks great, feels nice and light, small in my hands, but I can hold the different grips as I mentioned. The fire button, nicely positioned, feels good. And the cord, nice and long. So I think this is ready for a trial run. Let's see how this thing goes. All right, we have the Kraft Maze Master connected to the Atari 800XL, which is connected to the Commodore 1702 monitor. And we're gonna test the four-way with Pac-Man. I know, very basic, and I always do that with Pac-Man. Why not? It's only a four-way test. We are set at four-way already on here. It should start with the push of a button. And let's just see where the Pac-Man character goes if I don't move the joystick. It's going well. Now let me just uh, test out some of my quick moves. I got to tell you, the joystick does feel very light, but not cheap. Just very light. Um, I think I like the grip of a three-finger grip, like a pencil grip. Just like this. I feel I have more control. So... No problems whatsoever. I think it looks like it works and reacts just like I would want it to. I don't, I don't know. I just take some time getting used to. Maybe when I'm sitting down, I'll hold it with two fingers. But, you know, just trying to see how quickly I can react to a change of direction. And it does pretty good. So that's Pac-Man using it in a four directional mode. Let's try a different game with eight directions. Okay, so for the eight directional game, let's try something on Fujinet, something a little bit different. I do like this cord on this eight foot cord is definitely long. It's got a lot of it just draping on my workbench here. All right, um, I don't think I have it on my SD card, so let's find this online. Okay. 
All right, let's give it a go. All right, here we go. Sinistar, great game to test the eight-way mode on. Let's just make sure it's actually set with the eight-way. It is on four-way. We'll change it to eight. It's on eight. And let's not do auto fire. I really don't want that. So let's see how this thing maneuvers. That's really what we're testing. There's my ship. Uh, it feels great. I mean, there's my diagonal. Of course, the fire button. Yeah, I think this is going to be more of a two-finger hold for me when I play games on this joystick. But it definitely does maneuver really nice. I don't have any issues with the feel of it. I don't think it actually has any delay on the uh, change of direction. It's pretty quick. It's very responsive. I guess that's the word I'm looking for. Um, fire button is really good too. It's very simple, right? I mean, it's light, nothing fancy compared to the other two that I just reviewed. Um, and it's been very liked upon. I mean, this has been given a lot of high remarks as far as the reviews I've seen online from many years ago. I may need to get myself another one of these because I know they're hard to find, but I may want to have one as a backup because this may be one I use quite often when I do some game playing. So, hope you enjoyed this video. It's a very short video, but it does give you a good look at a game controller for the Atari back in the early 80s that was very simple, but very useful and efficient in gameplay. And again, what was cool about it was a nice quick switch from a four mode to an eight mode, and that it was a very nice light and simple design can't beat it thanks again for watching and don't forget keep your gaming passion from the past alive by living it today take care everyone